CataractCoach.com, Cataract Quiz. How do you explain this eye well? The patient has a low corneal endothelial cell count. Now here you can see there's the lens, single piece acrylic lens, obviously dislocated, needs to be removed from the eye. And a vitrectomy being done here, pars plana, which is good, clean up all that vitreous that's entangling around this eye well, make sure it doesn't fall back in the vitreous cavity. How are you going to explant it? Now we've shown you our twist and out technique that we use to bring it out through this small incision in the eye. And the question is, is that going to cause any corneal damage? What about cutting it inside the eye also? Would that be reasonable? You know, if you don't want to be blamed for cornea problems, can I tell you something? Don't make a corneal incision. So I think the surgeon here is going to do something very smart, which is, why not make a scleral tunnel and just take this lens out through this scleral tunnel? Now, making a beautiful scleral tunnel is kind of a little bit of a lost art here, and it's something that all Cataract Coach fans should really be able to do very well. There's the vitrectomy. Here comes the, clear, the scleral tunnel using a diamond here to kind of enlarge it. And you can see it's not at the cornea. It's a scleral incision. So if this glass is going inside the eye here, you can just grab that lens and just pull it right out of the eye because you have a six millimeter wide incision. It just comes right out. And that's the easy way. Now you got to clean up. Here's the capsular bag. You can pull that out of the eye. Certainly here's going to do a Yamane technique. So no need for any capsule remnants. Take your time to do a nice vitrectomy there. Here comes the new lens, a three-piece IOL. And you can see that can be put in the eye with just that scleral incision. You don't need to actually use an injector or a folder to get the lens in the eye. Here you're using a little technique to use the micro forceps to feed that haptic through that small gauge needle that was placed transclerally. And do that on both sides, taking your time here. And again, you can pull that needle and the, the hollow bore needle outside the main incision make it even easier for yourself. But again, this patient's had a full vitrectomy, so that's okay also. And that's why when you see this lens going here in the mid-vitreous, that doesn't matter because the patient's had a full vitrectomy already done. So now, externalizing both haptics, now you can do your Yamane technique here. So you, know, you got to take all these things into consideration. Yes, I like my twist and out technique the best. I think it's so cool. Cutting a lens is also great, but if you've got a case like this where you're trying to do as little damage as possible, like gentle or delicate corneal epithelium, you know what? Maybe doing something like this with a slow tunnel is the best bet. Now, if you look carefully there, surgeons place two, looks like 10 nylon sutures to close that slow tunnel, and that's closed it up very nicely. Finishing up, doing some Yamane flange technique here, grabbing that haptic, creating a little bit of a flange there, and getting that buried within the sclera. And this can just be a beautiful outcome for this patient. So here, yes, it all tells your answer. Now remember, the number one podcast in all of ophthalmology is the Catacush Podcast. They're the best. And the sole purpose is to teach you the secrets to being more successful in your future. It's an hour a week, everywhere where you find your podcast. I promise you will love it. Now, there are a couple of sutures there. Look at that main incision close up with one, two, three, ten nylon sutures. The flanges here for the eye will happens are being buried within the sclera, not just sitting under the conjunctiva, because that may erode through. And now it looks pretty darn good. Certain going back, to look at the posterior view, finish up, make sure there's no vitreous that's remaining, a nicely clean, cleaned up posterior segment there, and make sure there are no breaks in the peripheral retina. And here at the end of the case, bring the pupil down a little bit. What a beautiful result here. So fantastic result. I bet you this page is going to be very happy. Very nicely done. So yeah, if you like cataract quizzes, you can see hundreds of them on cataractcoach.com. Just go there and search under the categorized area for the quizzes. It's all there. And you'll find hundreds of cataract quizzes. Great way to test your knowledge. And we've got another quiz coming tomorrow.